J.D. Vance offers a robust counter to Kamala Harris's critique, a deep dive into conservative principles. J.D. Vance has recently responded to Kamala Harris's characterization of conservative values as weird with a forceful critique, defending the core principles of his political stance and challenging the broader Democratic agenda. In his response, Vance argues that every time Democrats target conservative ideologies, they inadvertently reveal their deep-seated contempt for traditional American values and the people who uphold them. He draws upon past comments made by prominent Democrats to substantiate his point. Vance recalls Barack Obama's 2008 statement suggesting that Americans cling to their guns and religion out of bitterness and Hillary Clinton's 2016 disparagement of Trump supporters as deplorables. Vance then turns his attention to Kamala Harris's recent remarks, which he interprets as a continuation of this pattern of dismissive and disparaging attitudes toward conservative viewpoints. In his detailed critique, Vance takes aim at several democratic policies and positions that he believes are extreme and misaligned with American values. He expresses particular disapproval of the democratic push to include sexually explicit materials in children's libraries, which he argues is an inappropriate influence on young minds. Vance also criticizes the far-left stance on gender identity in sports, specifically the allowance of biological males to compete in women's boxing, which he contends undermines fair competition and women's rights. Additionally, he scrutinizes Kamala Harris's record as a prosecutor, highlighting her controversial decision to bail out convicted rapists and murderers, an action he views as a serious lapse in judgment and responsibility. Vance also addresses what he perceives as Harris's inauthenticity, particularly noting her use of a Southern accent during a recent appearance in Atlanta. He points out that Harris, who was raised in Vancouver, adopted this accent despite her lack of genuine connection to the Southern culture she was trying to mimic. Vance mocks this affectation as a superficial attempt to appeal to voters, underscoring it as emblematic of the broader disconnect between Harris and the electorate. As Vance advocates for the re-election of Donald J. Trump, he frames this political battle as one of defending American loyalty against what he describes as the disloyalty of Democratic figures like Harris. He argues that true loyalty to the country is demonstrated through concrete actions and policies that support the nation's core interests. For Vance, this means securing the nation's borders, making life more affordable by curbing inflation, and protecting Medicare for American citizens rather than risking it by extending benefits to illegal immigrants. He contrasts these principles with Harris's policies, which he believes endanger these vital national interests. Vance concludes his defense by emphasizing the value of tangible sacrifices and service to the country, citing his own service in the Marine Corps and Trump's efforts as exemplary. In his view, Harris's actions represent a stark deviation from these ideals, and he challenges her to reflect on her own record of loyalty. Certainly, here's an extended conclusion. In conclusion, J.D. Vance's response to Kamala Harris's critique is a comprehensive defense of conservative principles and a stark critique of democratic policies. Vance's remarks underscore a fundamental ideological divide between his political values and those espoused by Harris and the broader Democratic Party. His argument is rooted in a broader critique of what he perceives as the erosion of traditional American values and the dangers posed by progressive policies. Vance's defense is structured around several key themes. First, he emphasizes a perceived disdain from Democrats towards traditional American values. By recalling past remarks from prominent Democrats, Vance seeks to illustrate a pattern of contempt for the principles that he and his supporters hold dear. He frames these comments, Obama's about clinging to guns and religion, Clinton's deplorables remark, and Harris's weird characterization, as part of a broader narrative that dismisses and belittles conservative viewpoints. This narrative, according to Vance, reveals an underlying contempt for the values that many Americans cherish and seek to uphold. Vance's critique extends to specific democratic policies and positions, which he argues are at odds with the values of fairness, responsibility, and national integrity. His condemnation of the push for sexually explicit materials in children's libraries is framed as an attack on traditional family values and appropriate influences for young minds. Vance argues that such policies undermine the moral framework that he believes is essential for nurturing future generations. Similarly, his criticism of allowing biological males to compete in women's sports is presented as a challenge to fairness and the protection of women's rights. Vance contends that such policies disregard the importance of maintaining fair and safe environments for female athletes. In discussing Kamala Harris's record as a prosecutor, Vance highlights her controversial decisions, particularly her actions regarding bail for convicted rapists and murderers. This aspect of Vance's critique is designed to question Harris's judgment and reliability in matters of justice and public safety. Vance argues that such decisions reflect a broader pattern of leniency and misplaced priorities that he believes endanger public safety and undermine the rule of law. Vance's commentary on Harris's accent during her appearance in Atlanta adds another layer to his critique. 
By highlighting what he perceives as Harris's inauthenticity, Vance aims to underscore a disconnect between her and the voters she seeks to represent. This aspect of his argument is intended to cast Harris's attempts at political appeal as superficial and opportunistic, further distancing her from the American electorate. At the core of Vance's argument is a defense of conservative values and a call for a re-evaluation of democratic policies. He contrasts his vision of loyalty to the country with what he describes as Harris's disloyalty. For Vance, loyalty involves a commitment to securing the nation's borders, making life more affordable, and protecting vital social programs like Medicare for American citizens. He frames these issues as critical to national well-being and contrasts them with what he views as Harris's policies that undermine these principles. Vance's appeal for the re-election of Donald J. Trump is presented as a necessary step to counter what he sees as the threats posed by progressive policies. He argues that Trump's leadership represents a defense of American values and interests against the perceived dangers of a democratic agenda. Vance's defense is thus positioned as part of a broader struggle to maintain the integrity of traditional American values and to safeguard the nation's future against what he views as detrimental policies. In summary, J.D. Vance's response to Kamala Harris represents a robust defense of conservative principles and a comprehensive critique of democratic policies. By highlighting perceived threats to traditional values and questioning the reliability and authenticity of his opponents, Vance aims to rally his supporters and advocate for a political vision that he believes is crucial for the nation's well-being. His remarks reflect a deep-seated commitment to his political ideals and a firm stance against what he perceives as the dangers posed by progressive policies.